This video is entitled Anchors, and it's a companion piece to the book So You Want to Learn to Use HTML and CSS, Chapter 4. I'm James Renault, PhD, and I'll be taking you through this uh, video presentation on what is an HTML anchor. In this video, I'm going to describe the A tag within HTML um, and how to use it. It's called the anchor. We're going to show uh, links from one page to another page using a relative URL. We're going to show links to a page on another site using an absolute URL. And I'm going to show a link to a, a picture. So you could click on a thumbnail to get a big picture. But that could also just easily be a link to uh, a PDF or some other kind of resource file that you have on your website. Anchors are hugely important, and the web would just be unusable without an anchor. If you couldn't just click and follow the links, it wouldn't make sense. So this is a big thing. I just said it was a big thing, but it's not a difficult thing. So, so let's look at the anchor above. You can see the anchor is the A tag, and uh, it has a close A tag on the end of it. Um, the A tag has one attribute. Well, it actually could have a couple of attributes, but the one attribute I want you to know right now is the href attribute, H-R-E-F. Um, the href attribute equal something in quotation marks, and what goes in the quotation marks is a URL um, to that other document. So you can see that the paragraph above creates uh, the word the paragraph click here to see the next page but here will be a link it'll be underlined and when the user clicks on it it will take them over to some page.html it'll take them to somewhere else so uh, and usually we have text or we could put a picture an image in the a tag um but yeah, usually we can put a, a picture or, or, or text in the A tag. So let's jump right into an example. In my example here, I have a HTML document called index.html, and there are two anchors on this page. Let's look at the simple anchor down here at the bottom that says click here for more inf or for more information, click here. So that anchor a href about.html will take us to a page called about.html, not index.html. The other anchor is a little bit more sophisticated, but it's not any, any different, not any more, not any, really any crazier. If you look at it up, up there, you can see that it's an anchor to a file, to a picture, PNG, called Spyro 400, 462, 169, 110. Don't worry about th that's just the name of the file. Um, the file name could be anything. That's just the name of that file. Then notice inside the anchor tag, instead of text, instead of a word or something, there's actually an image inside the anchor tag. So there'll be a picture. And if the user clicks on the picture, it will open up another picture. And you can see that that picture's name is spirothumb.ping and has an alt text of spiral thumbnail. So if somebody doesn't, if that little thumbnail doesn't appear, it says spiral thumbnail, and we'll give them a link they can click on. So what's going to happen on this page is you can click on the About link, the About Anchor, to go to the About page, or you can click on the little picture to see probably a bigger picture. The index.html, as it's rendered, looks something like that. With uh, And it says, click on the small spiral to see more detail. And then, for more information, click here. So, so let's click on one of those and see what happens. So if I click on the little thumbnail image, this image will appear in my web browser. And if I click on the About link, I'll be taken to the About page. And let's see what that HTML looks like, because it also has some links in it, doesn't it? So you can see that this page actually has three anchors on it. The first anchor is an anchor to the absolute address www.basic256.org, which is the language that I wrote that spiral program in. 
Um, there's also a link to uh, a Wikipedia article on uh, the Spirograph, a toy I had as a kid. Um, if uh, So you can see how that is an absolute link. And notice that instead of using the HTTP protocol, we're using the HTTPS protocol to uh, securely get the page from Wikipedia in an encrypted manner. And then the third anchor, you can see right here, you click on the words back to index and it'll take you back to index.html. So those two pages are linked between each other. So you don't hit the back, you don't have to hit the back button. You could, but you could just hit the back to index and it would take you back also. And the page looks like this, and you can see the three anchors on the page. This concludes our brief introduction to anchors, and uh, this presentation is copyright 2020 by James Imrano, PhD. You can contact me at jim at renejm.com if you have any questions. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution, non commercial share alike 4.0 international license, and I would like to say, Thank you for watching.